Today, we're taking a look at Star Wars Outlaws on the Xbox ROG Ally and the Ally X. And you're definitely going to want to stay tuned to the end of the video if you are considering the lower end Ally version because some peculiar and really important things happened uh, while I was testing this that it's just going to be something to consider in your buying decision. Who knows how often this is going to happen or uh, how widespread it is in terms of games or, or maybe this is a launcher issue. I don't know. But uh, stick around to the end of the video and I'm going to go over exactly what happened. Um, so you just saw all the settings there. Basically, we're running this on pretty much the lowest settings possible. This game is super demanding for PC handhelds. It is a really difficult game to run. Um, so even on the Ally X, um, at, on the very lowest settings, um, I think it's totally playable on the Ally X. It, it kind of ranges from like 30 to 45 FPS, depending on the area that you're in, whether it's open world or kind of a smaller uh, linear area, which there's not too many of in this game. Um, but uh, as you can see on the top here, I tried to keep uh, the FPS visible on both of these throughout uh, this video. And on the Ally, I mean, it is really struggling to run this game. It's often, you know, in the teens in the FPS. Um, I will say the small screen size and the, I don't know if it's like frame pacing or what, but it doesn't feel as bad as like 15 or 18 FPS that you often see. But it's not something that I would, I would there's no way I would want to play 50, 55 hours of Star Wars Outlaws with this kind of performance. Um, you know, and everybody's tolerance is going to be different, but uh, for me, this is a rough game. Uh, if you're considering the lower end 599 model, the ROG Xbox Ally version, if you're picking up the black 999 ROG Xbox Ally X, I think... Uh, Star Wars Outlaws is a game that uh, is totally playable and just uh, understand that your FPS is going to kind of vary quite a bit, but uh, I think for the most part, you're going to be able to stay above 30 FPS. Um, so we're just going into a couple of different area, areas here. This is a uh, an open world area here on Tatooine, and I'm just... Like, I really wanted to kind of speed through the environment just to see if it uh, bogs down or if it uh, slows down as it's, like, trying to load the environment as you're zooming across it. And, yeah, the, the ROG ally on the top here just really struggles with the frame rate. You can just see it kind of chugging, especially, like, if you look at the bottom of the screen, like, underneath the bike there. Um, you can really kind of see just how bad the frame rate is. On the Ally X, I think it's... Again, totally fine. It's uh, you're you're not gonna get high FPS out of this game. Like if you, if you're somebody who's like, I'm only gonna play 60 FPS and above, you can pretty much forget that now. There may be some ways to do that, like through a uh, frame generation. You might be able to get uh, up near 60, but that's we all know frame generation is really just about smoothing out your image. It's not gonna give you any. Uh, better uh, input latency because you're not actually gaining real frames. It's just the uh, kind of fake frames inserted. So it, it does. I, I I don't hate uh, frame generation, but it's you just have to know what you're getting. You're getting a smoother image. You're not getting a more responsive game. So uh, we're coming up uh, toward the end of this open world area. Again, just like in the uh, Hogwarts Legacy video, uh, a couple times throughout this video, I'm going to. Uh, stop the footage from one of these devices to just sort of catch up. Uh, I try to sync them up as much as possible, but uh, I just ran into a lot of issues with these games and trying to jump and jump back and forth between the devices. The uh, Ubisoft uh, launcher that has to like open to open the game. It's just a nightmare. It's like even though I totally like logged, I totally logged off and powered off one of them and then opened up the other one. It still was like not recognizing that I was signed into it, like I wouldn't sign into it. It was just really a total pain in the butt. Now, that's not something that you have to worry about because you're not going to buy both of these devices. You're not going to be jumping back and forth between both of these devices. 
Um, but if you're an enthusiast and you have multiple different devices and you do jump back and forth to, you know, that quickly where you're like, I'm going to play it on this one for a while and then I'm going to go play it on that one for a while. There you go. You can, you can take that into consideration, but I think for most people, that's, uh, not something to worry about, but that, that, uh, did kind of make it hard as far as, uh, the footage was concerned. So I did my best to try to keep it synced up as much as possible. Try to use the same loads, but as you can see here, the lighting and the time of day is slightly different. It's slightly off. This happened with my uh, Nintendo Switch 2 comparison to the Legion Go. You, sometimes I would use the same save and it just wouldn't load the same lighting. So I don't really know what that's all about. Uh, that's just a game issue, I would say. Here's a... We're going into like kind of a slightly more linear area of the game. It's like uh, so you go into like a corridor here in this in the uh, hangar area. So you will see the FPS kind of does jump up a little bit. And the allies sometimes did get close to the 30 FPS mark. Um, but it's not a consistent thing that you're going to experience throughout the game because most of this game is, you know, out in the open world, running around, doing different activities, um, you know, storming bases and things like that. And there's a lot of enemies in these bases and you're going to really struggle on the ally. I mean, it's going to probably, if you start to get a bunch of enemies on screen, I mean, you could probably kiss 15 FPS goodbye. I mean, you might, you might get into the single digits. Um, I didn't do too much of that or actually I didn't do any of that for the video. I probably should have. Um, so something I can do if, uh, if enough of you want me to go back. So just drop me a comment down below. If you like these sorts of videos, if they help you out in terms of uh, making a buying decision, or if uh, you just want to feel better about your ally X purchase, uh, in that extra $400 you spent, uh, Hey, please like the video. If you haven't subscribed, uh, drop me a comment down below of anything else that you would like to see. Uh, I make these videos for you guys, so definitely uh, let me know what you want to see, and I'll do my best to try to fit it in. We've got a lot of uh, more videos coming up on the channel as well. Like I said, we got a Hogwarts Legacy comparison already up on the channel, um, and then later this week, uh, we got another comparison video coming up, so um, I'm trying to nail down what uh, the next games will be for uh, next week's video, so yeah, let me know down in the comments below as we uh, finish out this uh, Moss Isley area. So I'm going to jump into this uh, last little capture here. So this is where the issue that I was talking about at the beginning of the video came in. And so I did a capture on this one and I was like, okay, let me go ahead and just go ahead and grab this save and do it on the, uh, on the ally. And that is when I ran into some issues and I wasn't able to launch the game. And I'm going to show you that at the end of the video. But I did capture this footage, so I figured I would go ahead and still show you guys that are interested or more interested in the Ally X. This is in the middle of an open world area. You know, as you can see, as you're kind of running across the landscape, you know, there's a little bit of chugging here and there, even though the frame rate was pretty decent. So I still thought it was uh, good footage to show. I didn't want to leave it out. And specifically because this was the footage that was involved with uh, the, the major issue that I had, um, I figured let's go ahead and show this and then I will jump into some footage of what I'm dealing with on the ROG Ally version. And it's pretty concerning. It's definitely something that you want to consider if you're uh, looking to buy the $5.99 version. Again, now I will say that whenever I look at the um, the store item, it does say unsupported in the Xbox store. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. Uh, keep that in mind. Maybe they're just saying like, hey, you can't run this game on this machine. But we obviously we're doing that. No problem. Uh, well, you know, low frame rates or whatever. But um, now as we finish up this footage, we're going to swap on over to the ally footage. So, Here's the issue that I'm running into. I've got it launched. I've got nothing open. This is brand new, fresh load. Um, the, the other uh, ally has been turned off for a while, and um, I hit the play button. Nothing happens. It doesn't open up. Um, and that's a common issue on both of these devices. Sometimes when you hit the play button, it will just take a while to load. There's no indicator that it is trying to load. Sometimes I have to like hold down on the uh, Xbox button to just see if the app has started to open and if it's like in the process of loading it, which it usually is, but in this case, it's not. And I couldn't get it to load at all. So I was like, okay, well, let me just 
manually open up the Ubisoft store and let me try to launch it from that. I tried through this uh, little game page here where there's a play button on it. Tried clicking the buttons, tried tapping the screen. Doesn't work. Uh, I also tried on the bottom left there, there's a, there's a little icon for Star Wars Outlaws. I did navigate down to that, tried to use that because it also is a launch point. And no matter what I do, I can't get it to reopen. And I've tried throughout this afternoon three or four different times to go launch the game. And it won't launch. Can't get it to launch. So I don't know what's up with this. Uh, I even went to um, desktop mode, tried to launch it from the actual like executable file. <laughs> won't load. Um, I even tried to do it inside of the full screen Xbox experience. I think I'm going to do it here in just a second in the video. Yeah, we do it through. There is a way to like browse files. It's kind of like buried. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think we're going to do it through this menu here. But yeah, you, so right here you can hit the uh, right uh, or you can just hit files and hit browse. So this opens up the, like the file explorer inside of the Xbox full screen experience. So try to load from here too. Um, nothing, double tap, nothing. Try to click the buttons, nothing. I just can't get the, the game to load. So um, that's definitely a problem. So it's definitely something that you want to consider if you're, well, number one, if you're specifically wanting to play this game on the lower end uh, ally, uh, RG Xbox ally, but just in general, this may happen with other games. I don't know. I really don't know what's causing it. If you guys have any ideas of what the issue is, uh, please leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear a solution for this. Um, so if you know and you can run into it before and you know a fix, let me know down in the comments below, and I would certainly appreciate it. So uh, that's it for the video. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.